Hi, I'm Susanna and I'm a psychology student here at Flinders. Today we're going to take you on a tour of the psychology labs here we have on campus. So what are you waiting for? Let's go. Hey Susie, welcome to the Brain and Cognition Lab. I'm Dr Owen Churches. Come with me. In our lab, we study the perception of space, how we move through it, how we understand it, how we find our way. In this experiment, the participant is trying to find the centre of the shape as quickly and accurately as she can. Hi Susie, welcome to the Eyewitness Lab. Do you want to come through and look at some of the research that we're doing? Um, so in this first cubicle here we have a participant who's watching a mock crime video. So she's just watching some footage of a fake crime. Um, so her task here is just to encode the features of the offender um, and just take note of what they look like so that she can try and identify them in a subsequent lineup. If you come through here, this is a participant who's viewed the same video. They're now presented with the six person lineup. So you can see they're trying to make an identification. Um, and now they're going to make a confidence rating just indicating how sure they are that that offender was the guilty culprit. Welcome to the sleep lab. Um, this is where we conduct a lot of our sleep research, um, particularly where people stay in overnight and we record their sleep overnight. So we've got the monitoring room here where we can monitor people's brain waves to see what stage of sleep they're in across the night. Um, through here we have our kitchen and lounge area where participants um, can hang out during their stay at the sleep lab. Um, and through here we've got our first bedroom um, where participants stay overnight. And we actually have a participant being set up at the moment. So I can hand you over to Chelsea. Hey, so I'm setting up Jeremy's here for a sleep study where we're looking at the impact of technology on sleep. So these little sensors will tell us about his brain waves and he's asleep and we can see if there's any impact on the technology use later in the night with his brain waves. This is the Adult Development Lab. Here they conduct research mainly around developmental changes in emotion regulation and social relationships across adulthood and into old age. Our students use this space to conduct studies about how aspects of motivation and cognition can change well-being into adulthood. For example, we use iPads to look at age differences in stressful events and emotions. Welcome to the Food Research Laboratory. So in this lab, we get to conduct research on people's food cravings and how this might impact upon the different types of foods that they choose to eat. So over here, there's a participant completing a task and we're looking at their responses to different types of foods, so healthy and unhealthy foods, and how this might impact on their consumption, cravings and choice of these foods later on. So it's not all just about study here at Flinders. This is our Psychology Students Association. Here they plan over 20 events every year, such as quiz nights and pub crawls. You can also come here to talk to them about anything and everything. There's always a door open to lend a helping hand. So that was just a few of the 20 labs that psychology students here at Flinders have access to every day. I hope you enjoyed our tour and I hope to see you around campus soon.